All right, so in this video, I wanted to go ahead and do like a hobby pack versus retail box video. I went into Target. These are the things that I found that I wanted to try out. These two I was kind of curious about. Uh, but then I went to a hobby shop and they bought uh, some uh, basically just random little hobby packs here for us. And I think they're roughly the same. I mean, these are 30 each. So these are about the same there. And then these ones are 30 plus. So like this and this. This retail was actually more, excuse me, the hobby was actually more expensive than the retail. So uh, I think 30, 30, I don't even remember. Let's say 30 just for fair. It's 120, 160, 70, 170 something for the retail packs or for the hobby packs. And then was it 30, 60, 90, 100 and let's say 20 and 100 and 150, let's just say, on the retail side, even though it was a little bit cheaper than that. But let's go ahead and compare and see what we get from both. I'm going to start off, we'll start off with Rookies and Stars first, and then we'll do these two because I don't know anything about those products uh, right there. Rookies and Stars, though, um, has been really fun to open, to be honest. Um, I'd say that there's more autos in this product than any other product that I've opened from retail that didn't guarantee an auto. So you can get an auto or a mem, um, one per box on average. And most of the ones that I've gotten, I've actually had autos, which is crazy. Five red and red plaids, and then rookies from the draft class. Here's a look at the back right here. Ceiling's pretty good. You, it says here, at least you can hit 101s uh, for some of the inserts and uh, even some of the base cards. So crazy that they decided to do that in this product. I'm happy about that because it's kind of nice to be able to hit something big, maybe out of retail and not have... Uh, you know, $400 or $350 hobby box to be able to hit the, like some one-on-ones and sort of, sort of stuff. But that being said, it's going to be way harder to hit um, like a, a low number or a one-on-one out of something like this. I've never hit a one-on-one out of something like this. I've actually never hit, minus a printing plate that I got once from an older, what is it, Prestige or some random old product. Um, like 2014 or something, I hit a one-on-one -on -one printing plate, and I was like, "Is that even, does that even count? It didn't have the one-on-one -on -one, um, cursively spelled out, so I didn't, I didn't believe it, but it was a one-on-one, -on -one. it just, I was like the only one I hit. Um, anyway, this has been pretty fun. If you've opened this one, there's actually some pretty decent uh, little hits that you can get. Looks like all base up top, and then we got a JJF Thrillers back here. On average, though, I've been getting some, uh, some decent little hits where it's like a there's a Trey McBride and touchdown. Oops. So so it's been to the point where I'm getting like um an auto on quite a few of the boxes. Maybe not the best auto, but numbered autos even to that. And then also ended up with some numbered cards in the mix as well. So there's an Aiden Hutchinson. Nice to see that one. Rookies and Stars Red Parallel. And then Airborne Russ and uh, Brian Cook. But anyway, yeah, I saw a couple of these boxes. They they had a bunch of them, and I was like, oh, I kind of liked opening them, even though they're still like 20 or 30 bucks each that you're, you're throwing in. Um, and most likely not going to get your money out of it, but it's still kind of a, it was a fun, I got a good experience from them, so I was like, yeah, I might as well keep going. Actually, I got a redemption from one, too, um, where I got like a 400 point redemption. So, and this one's just sliding around like crazy, so I'm going to go and leave him. All right. Anyway, curious how these hobby packs go. Every one of them, it's always just a rush opening a hobby pack. Because you're just shooting the moon, trying to trying to get something decent. And sometimes it happens. It's really, if you think about the chances of something like getting a, um, a case hit out of something like one pack, it's, it's crazy. There's salmon. Uh, it, it's crazy because you have a case. I mean, from the case, you have an individual box. From the individual box... You have an individual pack and then if you get a case hit from the one single pack like it's i've done it very few and far between but it's such a, a rad feeling to be able to get something big out of that there's drake and chase and debo so this first box is this must have the auto in this one or the mem uh, because it's the last pack and it looks like it might be an auto then if unless they're skunking me but oh this is an auto i think so there's a Garrett Wilson on the checker. Take that. And then Kenny. 
No, oh, that's not the <laughs> auto. Uh, that's one more. Here it is. Rookie and Stars, number to 199. Check that out. Kevin Harris. Not somebody I am familiar with, which is something that they do quite a bit in here. But this is numbered to 199 for a rookie auto. It feels good. It feels good, darn it. Even though this is probably a better valued car, Garrett Wilson in the checkered um, parallel. Still feels good to be able to get, like I said, gosh darn it. So I'll put them over here. All right, that was box one. We'll start off ripping the second box. And I mean, there's five blasters of stuff. I always recap everything at the end of the videos too, for those that want to see. Um, so if you just want to go to the end, I don't have any issues with that. Just go check it out and see what I ended up getting or not getting. And um, you can see that. But again, hoping for something nice out of this, something that I would not expect. That's what I'm wanting. Something that I would not expect. Look at Garrett, dude. What a stud. That's rad. That's a really... I'm going to keep that one over here. This is my favorite. If I had an auto chance with him, there's a Dak. And a Brock Purdy bang! If I had a um, an opportunity to get a, an autograph from Garrett Wilson, I would get that one with his glasses and stuff. Super rad. Alright. Back at it here. Williams, oops, what are you doing over here? You don't go over here, you go over here. And then Howell again. Man in Motion and Desmond Ritter. I don't know why I'm keeping some of the the rookies over, the better rookies in the different pile. At the end of the day, we never know which ones are going to be the best rookies, and then I have to go through all my stuff to unearth all the other random rookies that ended up actually doing work. And actually doing numbers and stuff. Because, you know, the ones that we think are going to be good are sometimes not the ones that are good. And Josh Allen, Ovations. All right, two more. And then we have, what is it, Jahan Dotson color match like that. Debo, Kenny. Oops. Kenny. I think I put the other one in the other pile, but it's all good. Draft class. And then here's our auto back here again. I think it's an auto. Like I said, this stuff has been crazy, man. So there's Jameson. Maybe. I, maybe I'm jumping the gun. Williams. Crusade. There is Motion. And Jimmy G. And then here is the auto. Oh. Oh, oh, ooh, to one ninety nine. The wrong one. There's two other options that could have been good: Ritter or London. But all good. Tyler, Tyler's actually supposed to be pretty good too, right? I have a couple autos from him already. Um, hopefully, he ends up being amazing. We'll we'll see. Running back. I've noticed this trend though. Check this out. There's a a thrillers um, at the very top. There's a Lave, Kenny, and then so the top one has been Matt Corral. Looks like a Jersey Shore. Did you see that? Hold on, hold on one second. You guys got to see that again. Um, actually, I'll sleeve these later. Well, I don't like the chromium ones out. The chrome ones out. So I don't want to get them all messed up. There's uh, Jameson Williams and. Alave right here. I wouldn't mind getting a top rookie. Uh, look at this guy, Jersey Shore. Awesome. So the last pack might have the auto in it again, like the other ones. And if it's the same format again, maybe it will be to two ninety nine or one ninety nine. I mean, pretty crazy. Drake Jackson, Tua, touchdown club, Mahomes, and Pacheco. Is Pacheco a rookie? I didn't even realize that. Is he a rookie? Oh, he is a rookie. What the heck? He's actually the better chase than Sky, then. I didn't realize that. Showing my depth of knowledge. I don't pay attention to college ball, so that's part of the issue. I realize college ball gives you lots of knowledge that I do not observe. That I, no, that I do not absorb. There's a Steve Young. Is he a spiller? Steve Young in the throwback outfits, too. Look at those things. Very form-fitting. 
It looks like the outfit's like six sizes too big for him. Like, look at that jersey. Versus this stuff now. That This is what we have now. CD lambs and stuff where dudes are just shred. Maybe not QBs, but anyway. All right. Still a lot of product left. If you guys want to see the end, go ahead and go to the end. And then I will um, recap. But subscribe if you guys like the channel. There's a Garrett Wilson Red. Like that. And Wilson Tort. Um, yeah, it's fun posting on this channel. It's just my secondary channel that I enjoy content with. Well, Rookies and Stars is a, a fun one because there's so many. You get so many rookies. It's a feel-good rip. Where you're like, ah, oh, I got a parallel of um, a star or something. There's like a Desmond Ritter red. Um, thrillers. I like those. Those are fun. I got a, a couple of those ones that are good. Garrett Wilson. And then also a... Actually, let's flip it and see. Color it. Oh, okay. It's Pierce Strong. <laughs> oh, that was a fail. Dude, three autos. Are you kidding me? I'm telling you guys, man. Out of three, six, nine boxes that I've ripped of Rookies and Stars, I've ripped nine boxes, and I've gotten eight of the nine were autographs. That's crazy. And they're numbered autographs, too. Like... I don't know what the heck is going on. I feel like they, they were going to do gravity or something and they decided not to. And they just decided to go, ah, let's go ahead and, and just throw everything in. I'm going to put these in. So I repackaged some of this stuff back in here and then I'll um, just end up donating the whole, all of that. And then some of these ones as well. I usually keep the better rookies and inserts just for my own personals, but you know, that's just kind of like, oh, why is Fields over here, though? What are you doing over here, Mr. Fields? Did I put you in the wrong spot? Yes. And you too, Austin. Garrett, you're cool. You can hang out. All right. Um, so three autos. What the heck, dude? From retail. Like, that. that's crazy to me. And they're not bad. I mean, some of those guys were all right. I don't know, dudes. I feel like Rookies and Stars, anytime I see it, I'm, I feel like I'm just going to keep buying it. Because I feel like there's a secret there um, where... There's more, there's more autos in that than anything I've opened. Uh, in fact, I might go right up to Target after this and buy like three more because it's crazy. Anyway, this is Allen and um, Ginter. I don't know how to say this. I'm terrible. Ginter. Autographs and relics in here. Uh, I've seen people talk about this set and I've opened some in the past, just really not knowing what the heck I'm doing. Obviously, you're trying to get something, one of these things, like one in um, 25,000, like a rookie design variation. Or something like that. Or World Series Champion, 1 in 24,000. Or the Still Searching, 1 in 84, 82,000. I can't count. Anyway, um, this one looked interesting. And I there was one box left. And I was like, you know what? It's your lucky day, Alan and Ginger. Just kidding. Not Ginger, but... Um, no, I was like, oh, I'm going to open this. Baseball has been better to me than any other sport. Which is weird because I don't know. Is that am I starting with a Rodriguez? What the heck? I'm so confused. Brooklyn, New York. That's awesome. These are cool. I'll put him there. It doesn't say rookie or anything like that. And what in the world is this? Ronnie Scott. All. Um, Otani, but I don't know if this is banners even. These are fun. Look at this little guy. I got a little duck. Bruh. This set. I'm so, I'm so mystified right now as to what's happening. Here's Mr. Hayes. I'm like totally speechless because I have no idea what I'm doing here. I wouldn't know a variation if it literally fell in my lap. And it looks like there's more than one duck. So there's Bichette, Johnson, Wheeler. What's cooking? Cayenne Pepper. I don't know what to do with that. O'Neill Cruz. And then we got this guy. What in the world is this? This is the most bizarre old throwback retro with new dudes set. I'm totally... I'm, and it's totally paper, like... Sosa. Jack. Meadows, I'm like so confused with what I'm actually seeing right now, but like now I want to go all in and look at the set and see which ones are the best 
cards that you can get and s s learn about the variations and the everything would be kind of fun because this one could be like a, a really cool card i wouldn't know use yelich and then also we got maris these are so cool though i like that there's a mini card in every pack like what a painful process to create um these things there's a rooms i'll put cj over here just because i'm watching him now now that i got look at there's the pitching gems that's the most colorful card i've seen so far hunter robinson good old jackie so yeah this is a this is a rad set dude not one that i understand i'm i'm hoping for some chrome or something in here that's how riley pena that's how like lame i am i don't know what i'm doing hey rod what is this back door <laughs> okay we got a back door all right again the most bizarre set i've opened Bami. <laughs> dude a bombing sounds so good right now i freaking love those i'm putting that one there as a as a hit because i like it contrarious and then we got cabrera uh all right no i don't if i got something leave a comment and let me know because i have no idea but i feel like i only oh, got two little minis here and a mcguire what is this one rookie and it's a different i do notice there's different colored trims on it that one's black maybe that one's because it's a rookie maybe the duck is the rarest i'm gonna say the duck is the rarest and the bombing that's it was wild bro i don't even know i'm gonna put ducky over here because i'm totally lost as to what what just happened uh with that one we got one more retail box and then the hobby appreciate y'all for watching i know this is a long rip uh, these blasters are no joke though. Now this I found, they had I think two of these left and I was like, you know what, Topps Chrome Soccer. And then I looked them up and I saw them on sale for like $18 online. I was like, gosh darn it, could have gotten for less. But it doesn't mean you can't get anything. It just means it's not a very exciting product, I think. And I don't know why I thought it would be exciting. You can still get some stuff here, Super Fractors. I mean, that'd be cool. We're, we're hunting parallels in here and I don't even know soccer very well. So if there's any good players... This is where I need some help. Because I have no idea. But I saw it and I was like, you know what? They would have had Mosaic or Select or something. Whoa, that looks fire. These things are nice. Top Chrome. Unassuming packaging. This one's numbered to 99. Diego, wow. This is a silver. These look really nice. This is the inserts, I think. Gustavo? I don't know. I don't know if this guy's good or not. <laughs> I'm going to check later. Whoops. But my first pack, I got a numbered soccer card in 99. Ooh. Looks like... So this one is a silver. And then they got... It's a rookie. This is going to be impossible. I mean, I, this is like one of those things where it's like kind of fun. And then I researched and then learned the product. Because I just I don't know. Alex, that one looks fun. Luis. And then we got a Diego. So a couple of rookies. Kind of fun to see that. But I do like the uh, the quality of the cards feel nice. This is a blue one. Derek. To $2.99. So another numbered. These ones look fire too. Look at that background. Okay, so, I mean, one blaster, two numbered cards. I don't know what's average, but feels pretty nice. I looked up the hobby prices, and these are not super expensive, so. And there's a silver and a solo. I, again, not really sure what I'm doing here, but it's pretty fun. Christian and a couple of dudes. So, I don't know. I like I like seeing numbered cards. I like seeing checkered rookies, but not, I didn't see Messi, so there's that. And uh, I'm going to have to check values of these things in, at the end. I'll check some of it at, right after we're done, if that's cool to you guys. And then I'll recap some of this stuff as well. But now on to the good stuff. Finally, we made it. Hoops 2020. 
22-23, so Paulo here, obviously, one of the first products with him in it. Oh my gosh, what is that? What is that? What is that? I don't even know what the options are for case hits in here. That looks like something, though. Please be something. I thought it was like a manga, but I'm like, there's no mangas in this. Spark plugs! Oh, dude, I thought it was a manga. I was like, bro, did I get a manga? This is that's good enough. I've never seen that one, actually. This is a cool insert, and I do like Kyrie. I know I'm not on board with a lot of his craziness shenanigans, but he's a phenomenal player. You can't deny that. All right, pack number two. Will I get an auto? I think there was one per box, and there's like 7,000 packs per box. So it looks like just paper in this one. Carmelo. Wait, I'm so confused. The auto or the rookies are all over the place. So there's a couple rookies and a class action here. Okay, was there more rookies here? Because I didn't even see them if I did. I'm just double checking, sorry. All right. Rookies, and then there's no red backs either. So some of these have red backs. I know that. And if the red back is there, they're worth more. No red backs. Got it. Moving on. All right, what's next? We have Don Russ. I guess Don Russ, last year. Uh, I'll be doing a video too. I don't know if you'll see it before or after this video, but um, I have a hobby box from last year. This thing's so big and open. And then I have a hobby box versus last year versus this year of that. So I see numbered on the back. It must be red. I see red on the back, so that's good. Do usually, I think red's 99. I'm saying that like I actually would remember what that number is, but. The reality is I do not know. There's Moody, Mitchell, Moss, and then you get the press proof here, Pazzo. Then you get the Craftsman, Harden, and we got a Tatum, Marvels, Vince Carter, Retro, and a purple Giannis. And then rookie. Ooh, 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 ooh. Number six, oh, two off of Jersey to 99. Wowzers, that's a big card for one pack. Wow, 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 wow. I don't know what that's going for. I'm actually I'm actually going to pull out my phone and see. I can't be too much because it's not a highly desirable product, but, like, it's a rated rookie to 90 of Suggs, not Laser. It's numbered 99. So like the Kamunga is ninety nine dollars. Hmm. Yeah, it's not showing it, but this is great. That's a really nice hit. I like it. Fantastic. Uh, I guess while I have this out, I want to check this guy and see. Hmm. Zero dollar. What about you, mister? Nope. Nope. Said, nope, we're not going to find you. I'll check you out later, Ducky. All right, 22-23 Don Russ. Um, I'll have a video of this as well. It's, it should be up before this video. I'll probably prioritize it. But, uh, man, this is a tough product. It's really tough. It looks like we have one of those thingies in here. I don't know if that's not helpful. Base, base, base in our face. Lots of base. Grant. Jalen, second year. All right, so the, here's a press proof. Patrick. Oh, did I get? Oh, no, it's not auto. It can't be auto. It's backwards, though. All right, I'm going to go like this. Just out of curiosity, because I don't know. T-Mac. Likes like that. Why is that one? Oh, it's because this one looks so much colorful. More colorful. Chandler, Johnny, Caleb, and Murray for some rookie action. We have crunch time. I'm sweating this out like it's an auto, even though it's a backwards card, and it's probably not. But if it is, bruh, there's an unleashed Tatum. LeBron net marbles, nice, in the, in the red. Josh Christopher to 149. At least it's a numbered card. 
Patrick Jr. Press proof. Josh Christopher two one forty nine. I wish it was a rookie, but I wish that was the other rocket. All right, and LeBron. I like this. These net marbles I really like. And this is the. I don't think this is the base one. I don't. Look at the difference between the two years. Pretty cool to see. Like that. Actually, this one's probably up here for now. And I like to sleeve these ones up, even though I don't know how Patrick Baldwin is, but it is a press proof, which is better than a regular Rook. And I do like this one too. Gosh, I'm, I'm going crazy over here. I don't like the crunch times that much though, but I do like the Unleashed, I think. I'm not sure. We have three left. Football, let's, let's finish up basketball and get into football. So this one is Chronicles Hobby 21-22. They have two autos, I think, in the box. They only had three of these packs left, and so I risked it. No, uh, look at that. Oh, I got something. It is a thick boy. Hopefully, it's not just a patch. The middle ball. Okay, there's a Cam Thomas like that. We like Cam Thomas now. Right, guys? <laughs> Poor Cam. We disrespected him so much. Jalen. Actually, I guess you guys are just... Eh, whatever. You can go here. We like you guys. You're cool. You're cool. You're out. Oh, 75th. That's a 75. Luca. That's fire. I've never actually noticed that before. That's a great looking card. All right, off the back. Davian Mitchell. You have Jalen. And what is this thing? It feels like a RPA. Or it feels like a patch. Is it an RPA? A patch? What is this? Ooh. <laughs> what? Trey Mann to 99 Cornerstones RPA. I've never got a Cornerstones before. The, these have been crazy packs. These have been really good hobby packs, man. Sometimes it's worth the, the risk. A Luka numbered to the 75 year. It looks super nice. Oh, look, look at this. It says traded. That's cool. Oh, this is, uh, what's his name? Anyway, I don't know why I'm focusing on that. This is a one. Where are my thick boy sleeves i need to get this guy a proper sleeve hold on one second i think they're just right here so i can um grab one for this because this cornerstone is crazy what an incredible hit i mean he's good right not like amazing but like still one pack and i got a an rpa cornerstone to 99 look at that I'm not, the patches are all the same. Trey Man. And it's a sticker. And not associated with it. So it's a sticker auto, not associated with anything. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Still cool. I'm still happy with it. Don't random my parade. And the Luca to 75. Super nice. And LeBron, Luca, star power, baby. All right. Phoenix or Mosaic. This is no huddle. Yeah, this is no huddle. We'll do no huddle first and then we'll do Phoenix just in case. It does say no huddle now. The last year didn't actually have that, so kind of nice that they updated that. Oh, what do we? Oh, darn. I saw black. I was like, what do we have? But then I saw a ding on the card, too, so I was a little bit worried. All right, Favre, Luke, Wentz, Moore. Hassan Haskins. Jalen, Blue Chips, Kenny Pickett, and a Chris Jones. That's not bad. Blue Chips, we'll take you. Crazy. All right. Maybe not worth the value of the pack, but I mean, it's a, this could have been a gold or a 101 blue chips, right? We never know. All right. Last pack JoJo's. Thin, not a lot of RPA. I didn't want to feel the packs up while I was there. Uh, so I just kind of grabbed whichever one was in front of me. Zamir. There's a Kittle Hot Routes and. Dotson and the hot routes and the kittles to 150. So I guess that's the way the cookie crumbles. But the real question is which did better, like rookie or I mean retail or hobby? And I I'm pretty sure it's safe to say that like um there's Duran. Re I hobby did better, I would say, but there's a recap of hobby rookies and stuff and here's some of the inserts and other rookies i guess this one does go there and this one too hot routes i like that one haskins 
Uh, Sabonis. It's kind of cool to see like the updated traded uh, joint right there. Marquee. X, oops, XR, Luminance, Prestige. None of those are numbers as far as I could tell. Unleashed, Press Proof, and then Tatum, Suggs, and then Kyrie Sparklers. I don't think this one is rare. It looks rare, though. It looks fancy. I'm going to uh, finish that one up. I do want to check that spark plugs real quick, though, because I don't know how much these things are. Curious. Yeah, it's a dollar. Meh. I was hoping it was like something else. It's like a, maybe a dollar or two. It felt fancy. It felt fancy. It fielded fancy. And then the better hits from retail or from hobby. Uh, Kittle, Kenny Pickett, kind of nice there. Then we got the Trey Man, like that. Luca numbered like that. LeBron, like that. Josh Christopher to ninety. 149 and then the Suggs bros 99 so like the Suggs but that's like four pretty decent cards out of hobby packs I mean auto numbered numbered I don't know that was pretty fun it felt nice I like these ones these ones are all good cards right here and then on the retail side so this is where things get kind of crazy because I didn't expect anything really open we got two numbered cards here on retail even if they're not good players and then we got three autos from the three boxes of Rookies and Stars. Thrillers, um, Wilson and Steve Young, Alave, Williams. Top rookie action. And then some other inserts here. Garrett Wilson again, I like that one. Curious about that price actually as well. So we'll go like this and I just want to check these ones out like this. I don't know this product at all. Curious if this one's worth anything or this one. And, um, you know... I don't know, maybe I'll just check this A-Rod out, or Rodriguez out. Did I say A-Rod? You know what I meant. And I, I just want to check these prices out real quick and see, you know, what they're sitting at. Because I can't imagine these ones being very good, but like Kevin Harris, like $8. That's gold, though. 6 bucks, maybe $5. Tyler's, $1 listed. Pierre. Billy was only $20, $40, I mean. Pierre, I don't see. Did you see? Did I see you here, Derek? That one's a dollar for that one, so not anything too crazy. That one's numbered to $199. That one showed up finally, but no price, so probably not worth anything. That one's like a dollar. And then what about you, little mini guy? Show up. That one's like $4, $3 for the little mini one. Huh. The little mini cars. What is that, Alvarez? Why is that one? Pretty crazy. Oh, yeah. I wanted to check one last one. I apologize for the long video. Hopefully, you guys don't mind. I wanted to check this Garrett, too. And that's like three bucks on that one. It looks cool, though. Look, like it looks like that. And that one's to 49. But uh, a little bit different. This was a, a fun little rip, though. I'd, I'd say that Hobby did pretty good. Retail did pretty good, too. I mean, honestly can't expect to make all your money back but it's nice to hit a couple little snacks and these i think these five right here are really good on this side and then these ones are pretty good on that side but thanks for watching hopefully you guys enjoyed subscribe and check back for some more videos all right peace guys